this tutorial we'll talk about why do we need to create a template file well any program will consist of instructions and most likely these instructions we're going to have to tie them to inputs and outputs so the first three then that we need to have to create a template file is to help the software recognize what piece of hardware it's going to be dealing with by doing so we'll be able to tie our program instructions with the inputs and outputs an example would be an examine if close instruction if we would like to tie it with the first terminal of our discrete input module we'll have to use that address with it another example would be an OTE if we would like to tie it to the last terminal of the discrete output module so as you can see over here if we do not have the template file the software will not be able to recognize that the discrete input module is plugged to slot number one and the discrete output module is plugged to slot number two the second reason is communication part of setting up the template file would be setting up the communication path between the programming station and the PLC and if the communication path is not properly set up we won't be able to download to download our work into the PLC or upload the currently running programs in the PLC into our programming station now I'm going to guide you through the two process uh, two-step process in order to create a template file for a compact logix PLC using RS logix 5000 software the first step is to locate the RS logix 5000 icon on the desktop double click on this icon and the software the software is going to start up right now if this was the first time you are running this program most likely the first screen you are going to encounter is the quick start screen through this screen you are able to open previously created projects or create new projects now as this is not al always the case I'm going to exit from the screen I'm going to go to the top to the main menu on the file and choose that option to choose or to create a new project so file new now I'm going to have this dialog box through which we have a number of parameters that we need to specify in order to uh, add our template or to create our template file so in the first parameter is the type what is the type of the controller in other words what is the serial number of the controller you want to connect to the one that we have in the labs has this number 1769-L23E-QB1 now you don't have to worry don't have to memorize this number it will be provided to you with within the exam sheet the second thing is the revision number usually we like to go with the latest revision if it was already installed on your machine however for, for this tutorial I'm going to go with number 19 to match number, the, number, the revision number we have in the lab stations the next information is the name I recommend going with your uh, name and the last step would be uh, the location where do you want to store your template file for this tutorial I'm going to keep it simple on the desktop you, didn't, you click OK right now all of the parameters have been covered right now and the last step is to click OK after you click OK it will take a few seconds before the template file is actually created now as you can see to the left side we have all of these folders uh, which are part of what we call the controller organizer and these are the main folders with all of the information regarding this project as you can see we have the discrete input module in slot number one and discrete output module in slot number two I did not specify these things it was enough for us to choose the proper serial number for the PLC we are communicating with and automatically this is compact logix it means all of the discrete inputs and discrete outputs are part of the main configuration over here now that's the first step is to create a template file within the main task main program that's your main routine over here if you rush your way right now and you create your program and you try to download so go to download you are going to have this message which is fail to go online with a controller communication path needed remember to create a template file we have a two steps we need to follow the first step it's already done which is choosing the proper controller we are done with this step the next step is setting up the path the path usually towards the left I'm sorry the center of the screen at the top you have where it says the path and right now the current path is set to none in order to set the proper path you need to go for uh, who's active which is the network icon next to it and remember the final destination when we download our program into the PLC will be the controller module which is plugged on slot number zero for the backplane 
as you are using the Ethernet connection, click on the Ethernet, click on the plus sign, then choose the proper IP address that we have. The one that you have in the lab might be different from what you see on this screen, but it's the same thing. The most important thing, we are going with the Ethernet, click on the plus sign, backplane, click on the plus sign. Each plus sign, it means you can expand this address to a number of addresses. And now the final de at destination would be zero, zero. Remember one more time, the final destination for when we download our program from our programming station into the PLC would be the memory, which is part of the controller module, which is plugged on slot number zero, zero in the back plane of the PLC. So, so far, here you go, that's our path. So far, it still shows none. Right now, if you choose this option, which is set project path, right now, you should be able to see the path over here. Now, the next step would be download just to test if uh, the, prop the path has been already set up. Click on download. Right now, you can see that message that the path is not set up is not uh, anymore. Right now, done downloading. Once you get to this step, you click yes. It will get you to the remote run mode. It means the template file is correct. It means the communication communication path is properly set up. Right now, you can go offline and go ahead and go to the main routine and start building your programs. These are the two steps you need to follow to create a template file and set up the path to the PLC.